the bolt goes in the side and it will not line up without your other hand even then it won't line up without your eyeballs so there we go okay I'm threading that in you'll have to torque that now all the gears are in the place look at that shit huh see and there's your reverse this one is for reverse that's the only way these two can rotate opposite directions from the main shaft so when you're in forward this gear is spinning freely on its fancy little needle, needle bearings like that only when you go in reverse does this gear get locked to that and that would be hard to do right now because I've got to um, well, I can do it I can grab a socket here's a deep socket that's my handle I can put that on the gear shifter and like that put it in gear and now well I don't have any uh, yeah I don't have any torque in this yet so we've got a couple more things to do we've got a, a thrust washer up here a bearing we've got a bearing on here and a couple other little doodads I'm not going to press the bearing on uh, let's do the thrust washer and small bearing and small nut first so this is on the counter shaft so the first thing is this thrust washer that goes down there this bearing will sit right on top of that no problem and then and there you go and then this nut which looks awfully garfed up you hopefully get a new one in your kit that gets put down there torqued and then staked on this side the other side gets this big bearing and a bigger nut and the way you put this on is you use vegetable oil and your sweetheart's frying pan I happen to be my own sweetheart so I uh, I do a lot of the cooking around this joint so it's my frying pan put some canola oil in there heat it up till it's just starting to smoke and then bring this bearing out and it'll just drop right on there voila again uh, or voici here you go this then comes over the top threads on uh, total MacGyver or awful trick is you use a, a chisel that chisel I mentioned earlier and you hit it on the side and that'll loosen this nut up no matter what so that's the way I got this one off and that's probably the way you're gonna get yours off and on so once that's done that's basically it you have the speedometer pickup depending on what vehicle you have you'll either have um, this speedometer gear or you'll have this uh, what's called a tone ring which is um, I don't have one out but it's it has a uh, looks like square gear teeth around the outside that one would be for an electronic pickup this one's for a gear based pickup my truck has an electronic pickup so I already put that one in this is the gear based one you have another one of the balls so uh, you gotta make sure you get the ball on there where's the ball go did I get this wrong this is uh, the output end. nope there it is there's the ball so we're going to pretend that, oh, you got to, this um, goes down on it. So see the ball? This goes on it. Make sure it goes right. Snap ring. I think we know how to put a snap ring on. So I don't have the, the nut on there. It's not going to matter. And then this is the end bump bumper for the, uh, the drive shaft. After you've got all that stuff on, and I think we can do this. We'll just take this nut off. Pretend those two are on tail housing goes on again some lovely permasex has to go in there I think you can get the rest of this on your own so uh, that bearings not on and stuff so this is not going to work you'll want a new seal up here that goes on now you can't really drive it that way so you also have to put the shifter cover thingy on the thing I started out showing you this guy uh, 10 screws 10 bolts and you're done with that one uh, then you've got to curse a bunch while you put this transmission back into your truck and put basically half the underside of the truck back together and when you're all done run it and then fill it with oil run the shit out of it and then fill it with oil because you had so much fun rebuilding the M5 OD R2 trans of mission 
If you have questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, I don't know, do your thing.